Have you ever seen a smaller spoon? Look at that thing. I just ran into the nicest lady. I was buying this gas card and there was some issues, but she gave me a free coffee. That's her right there. Can you see? There she is. Thank you. We have a serious dog day at the shop. Hey. Three pups today. Only 11 legs though, unfortunately. It's wall day. We got Guy rocking in Rio. All the roof is done. I'll uh, show that off. I wasn't even here in time to film it. Can't get mad for the boys working too fast. If you guys checked out last week's vlog, I wouldn't have to explain this, but we have quarter inch birch on the ceiling here. What we're going for is a white smooth roof with some nice stained matching wood throughout archway trim pieces. Those will go the full length of the roof there. Okay, our walls are a little bit different. We're gonna show off what we do. Simply, it is because we have had walls bend in the past. We've used two by two studs in the past. Figured we'd never have an issue. We were wrong. Uh, so we've switched it up. We cut our own three quarter inch studs, laminate them together, create our own inch and a half stud, same thing. Here is how the boys deal with the curved bus roof. So one strip at a time. Lay that three quarter inch strip. Or do you guys use three eighths? Holy smokes. We're doing four at half inch. So not three quarter inch plywood. We do hold physicals here at Pave to Pines. We wanna make sure our boys are staying healthy. No need for a scale, measuring tape, anything. If you can fit through a 16 inch stud, you're healthy as an otter. Okay, this is definitely my favorite layout so far. It is just way too funky with uh, the side access. Don't usually get to do that. You gotta make sure you have a high roof. The next bus we have in here, preliminary name is the Beluga. It is another 18 inches higher than this. Huge! It's been a while since uh, I've taken you guys for a little bit of a layout walk. Let's maybe check that out. All right, here we go. Hallway going back. This is bathroom entrance. Big old bathroom. Here we go, we run into bunk beds right here. Turn the corner. And we immediately have a vanity here. Mirror, sconces, everything. Right here is gonna be wardrobes up to the vanity. Full height wardrobes. And here, custom bunk beds, each with their own shelf. Another shelf. Pretty cozy beds. Lastly, we have our master bedroom. This is gonna be a doorway. Okay, that's everything for walls this morning. I gotta go run to Canadian Tire, pick up a couple wire wheels. Could be doing worse things, but I re oh yellow light. I really hate these product runs, material runs. I don't know why. I just get stressed out if I'm gonna miss a stop, if I don't do a perfect circle around the city. I just don't like them.
Next on the list is L brackets. I'm told to get lots. Next, I have to find a caulking gun, a big one. I think we're close. How are you? I know. All I see is a big snake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good thing. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Okay, that's it. We did it. Back to the shop. So bad for the lens. All right, we've got Cole outside here working on Rio. He is getting the roof coated up in our rubber coating. I'm also gonna show off our paint job from last week. Cause I don't think you guys got a good look yet. Looking pretty good. So this is a rubberized silicone coating meant for metal, camper roofs, just about anything. It's a roll on gloss finish. Um, and it's actually gonna help seal extra on top of all our lap sealant we did. Um, just another layer of protection when you're putting all this into a bus, better be safe than sorry. Okay, now to cue the paint job, now. We still have to paint the We still have to paint the bumpers. Back to the video montage. <laughs> hey Cole, do you need a hand? That looks just fine. For those of you wondering, that's obviously a faded flax seed. Okay, we've got a three-step process for our paint jobs. First is gonna be sanding, getting it down to a good scuff, something for that paint to grab. After that's done, it's cleaned up, we're gonna do a quick skim coat with that urethane paint of ours. Uh, that's just meant to give, once again, something very solid to grab when you do your nice heavy top coat. Second, we do a two-inch tip so a tiny little fan, and we get all the little crevices. So all these areas that you have to switch up the angle of the gun, we use a tiny little tip for hitting these areas and these areas. Definitely these areas, not that area. Yep, you guessed it, that area. Third, we do our top coat. So that's back to the 10 inch fan. We use a fine finish tip for all three tips, sorry edit, two tips. First one's the 10 inch fan, second tip is your little crevices, that's two inch fan. Third, we go back to the 10 inch fan and all you do is nice flat lines all the way along the bus. Keep that thing steady and consistent, good overlap, and then you end up with a beautiful flaxseed bus. That is two coats of rubberized silicone based paint on top of all our lap sealant jobs. I dare you to try to leak.
What the heck are you doing? Oh, 